What's going on everybody, Boris here at the Ecology Design Studio and today I'm bringing you 20 free software pieces that you don't want to miss. Before we jump right in, I'd like to point out that the audio issues I've been having are fixed. Or so I hope, if not, let me know in the comments and I'll do more work on it. But I've been using my webcam and a USB mic, I recently moved places and all my stuff was packed up. Now I unpacked it. And look at the difference. But let's jump right in. Yeah. Number one, Libre Office. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. Or Open Office. Libre is by far my favorite, my number one pick for Office applications. If you're looking for a basic word processor and spreadsheet program, then you found it. This is the free program that you need. It does have a few shortcomings though, because Libre's access, in my opinion, does not substitute for Microsoft Access. Calculator, that's their version of Excel, and if you're looking for basic functionality, then you're good to go. If, however, you're an advanced user or use one of the many Excel add-ons, then really there's no substitute for Excel. Kind of kills me to say that, but that's the truth. Impress, that's a scaled-down version of PowerPoint without the flash. It gets the job done, but not quite as effectively. You might also run into compatibility issues since the majority of the known world uses Microsoft. OpenOffice, that's another alternative. I don't use it on Windows machines, but it's great on Linux, such as Ubuntu. And if none of these free open source alternatives work for you, right you are. Corporations know best, so why not throw in with them and take advantage of Microsoft's home use program. Go to the website, on the link is somewhere on the screen. Type in your work email address and see if you qualify to purchase Office 2013 for $9.95. I did. Two. Number two, Notepad++. Ah, you should have seen that coming for number two spot. Not much to say really, it's Notepad with a few pluses and it's a must have for programmers. It recognizes most languages and if you don't have Dreamweaver, it's the old school way of web design. Three. Number three, Camp Studio and their lossless codec. If you're watching this video, then thank Camp Studio for wasting your time. It's free, and with their lossless codec, it's the best thing for recording your desktop since Bandicam, which nobody really uses. Well, at least I don't. <laughs> Number 4. VLC Media Player. It plays media and much, much more. You can convert video files to a different format. It can be remotely controlled. You can control the aspect ratio of videos. You can even burn CDs. And of course, it's free. Click the link on the screen somewhere or check the description to see 7 secret features of VLC. Five. Number 5, Audacity. It's not Pro Tools uh, or Ableton Live and definitely not FL Studio, which I love and I'm using right now to record this audio. But it has quite a bit of functionality built in and it gets the job done. If you're looking to create or edit some sounds, Audacity is up for the task. If you're looking to topple Armin Van Buren from the charts, not so much. Six. Number 6. GIMP or Paint.net GIMP is a heavier, more professional version of Paint.net basically. And Paint is a very light program that if you're just looking to touch up photos or do basic image manipulation, works well. Otherwise, go for Photoshop. Seven. Number 7. NetBeans IDE and JDK For more on NetBeans, check out my Java tutorial series. The first episode did have atrocious audio and I'm thoroughly embarrassed, as I should be. But that's all fixed now for later series, so go watch it. NetBeans is an integrated development environment. It's free and if you get the full version, it has most languages. Grab the free Java development kit to go with it and I'm pretty sure you won't need much else. If you've been programming with Notepad++ or heaven forbid just plain Notepad, you're welcome. Eight. Number 8. R Statistical Project. If you're a nascent statistician that fancies himself a professional researcher, then you need to go become a pirate. Arr! No, but seriously, if you're looking to do statistical analysis and modeling and don't want to blow money on Stata, which I have and I'm actually quite satisfied with, then get the R Project for Statistical Computing. It runs on Unix, Windows, and Mac. You might also take a look at PSPP, a free GNU version of SPSS. I should say though that R has a very high learning curve. Number 9, Windows Essentials. Photo gallery, movie maker, writer, etc, etc. Movie maker might be blah, but if you run into transcoding problems, it's a lifesaver when no other program is up for the task. Click the link on the video somewhere or check below for a tutorial on how to fix Premiere Pro import issues using Movie Maker. 
Essentials also comes with a few other goodies such as Rider, Mail, Messenger, and a few others. Yeah. Number 10, Thunderbird by Mozilla. It's an email client. If you don't have Outlook or for some reason Gmail doesn't do the trick for you, then this probably will. Yeah. Number 11, MP3 cutter. Name says it all. If you have audio and need to slice it, cut it. Number 12, Steam. Not all games on Steam cost money. There are quite a few free ones, like Planetside 2. See you in all Raxis, if I ever do get past the daily 4GB update, that is. Number 13, Scribefire. It's a blogger browser add-on thing. And I use it on Chrome. If you write blogs, grab it, because why not? The more functionality, the better, right? Number 14, 7-Zip. That probably should be somewhere higher on the list. Download zip, RAR, and other files, open them, compress them. It does what you need it to do, and it's free. Number 15, Komodo Internet Security, or Microsoft Security Essentials, or Windows Defender, if you're using Windows 8. I've never used Komodo, probably never will. Defender does what I need it to do, and if you have Win7, grab MSE. Never, never buy Norton, please, promise that you won't. Number 16, Specky by Piriform. Check your system specs and temperatures. For geeks that like to drool over hardware specs, I guess that says something about me. Number 17, FileZilla. If you have a server, it's a must. It's how ArcologyDesigns.com came to be, kind of. So type your machine static local IP, username, password, and port, which is 22 for SFTP, secure file transfers, and 21 for basic FTP. Number 18. Sky, 19. Anything other than Internet Explorer. I know quite a few people use Explorer, but why? Chrome or Firefox, please. Humanity depends on it. Number 20. Adblock Plus. No, I don't want to extend parts of my body, and no, I don't want to timeshare an aspect. It also does more stuff like tell websites you don't want to be tracked. 21 squared 5 for converting video files. 22 QuickTime because squared 5 and Adobe After Effects need this for some reason. 23 DVX and XVID Codex, same as 22, and maybe you like pirated movies online. Who knows? Number 24 Recuva by Piriform. Recover your deleted crap. 25 BitTorrent. By the way, if you're tired of Windows or are looking for a free alternative, Linux is the way to go, Ubuntu to be exact. Plus Steam is coming to Linux. Red Hat Enterprise Linux, never used it. Mint 13, never used it. Well, that's it folks. 25 free software programs that you should not miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on an Arcology Designs production. New file, we want a Java main class. Next, cell. So, um, I'm going to show you probably one of the most useful functions I find that they use at my work.